Hello there and welcome back to Talk of Alabama on this Monday morning. I'm in the Mazer kitchen right now with Mimi Inge and she is a registered dietitian and nutritionist as we mentioned at the beginning of the show and she wrote a cookbook with her grandmother and it really celebrates their love of food and leading a healthy lifestyle. So welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Okay, tell me a little bit about your grandma. Did you learn to cook from her? Yes. So Nan and I, that's what we call her, oh. she and I started cooking as a as a young child and that I think that's where like my love of cooking began. Yeah. And then I started writing a blog about six years ago or a little over six years ago and Nan and I kind of, I feel like it's like been our blog because anytime I'm out of <laughs> recipes, ideas, or need something, I'm like, I call Nan. Yeah. And so it kind of just made sense for me to call Nan, and we made a cookbook together. Oh, I love that. And this is yeah. the blog on the screen right yes. now. What is it called? It's called Living Well Kitchen. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Well, it looks great. I like Thank your you. design and setup. Thank now, you so much. Let's talk about the cookbook specifically, because you guys yes. released it in November. Yes. And things have been going well so far. Yes. So I printed 500 copies that self-published, uh -huh. and we sold out of all of them in less than two weeks. Wow. So I'm about to reorder today. <laughs> okay, awesome. So yeah. So going into the holidays, you'll yes. have some, and that might be a great Christmas gift. It's a great gift. Christmas gift, because even if you don't like to cook, it's a perfect coffee table book. I love it, right? <laughs> so it's multi-purpose. <laughs> you can use it for anything. <laughs> now, we're going to be making a few recipes this yes. morning. What are we going to start with? We're going to start with the pimento cheese. Okay. So usually people, when they are trying to make things a little bit more nutritious, yeah. they always say to substitute yogurt for mayonnaise. And while I love yogurt, I don't think it tastes the same. It has like the tangy taste okay. and it just makes me feel a little sad because I want like the mayonnaise taste. Right, right. So instead I'm going to use cottage cheese oh. and blend that up okay. and then add it to the cheese, like the pimento cheese. Right. So we're just going to use some regular cottage cheese. Okay. Um, usually I measure this, but today I'm not. Just eyeballing, just eyeballing right? it. There's measurements in the cookbook, obviously. Okay, awesome. And you can add a little milk or water depending on how it's going, uh -huh. and it doesn't have to be exact. Right. So honestly, because you're stirring it a lot, yeah. you just kind of, uh, I don't blend it that much. So you just dump it in, okay. and then everything else is basically the same as how you would make regular pimento cheese. Okay, cool. So I'm also using white cheddar, because I like the white cheddar and I'm gonna add jalapenos for a little extra flavor. A little extra kick. And then some pimento, so it's red and white and ah. green for Christmas. I love it, so perfect, it's festive. festive. Yes. Now, the recipes in the cookbook, you guys got that from several family members, right? Things passed yes. down from generation to generation. Yes, so most of them, or probably half of them are uh -huh. Nan's recipes. Okay. Um, she was in the junior league back way back when, and yeah. she and her friends did the cookbook together that everyone always talks about. It's called the Recipe Jubilee, so the Mobile Junior League. Okay. And so a lot of the recipes are from there. A lot of them, I lived in New Orleans for five years. My sister was born there. So there are some Creole, like New Orleans recipes. Yeah. And then my dad is also a really big cook. So okay. his fried chicken recipe is in there. And yeah. A lot of different things, everyone's, right? Variety. Everyone's involved. <laughs> Variety in this cookbook. Now, yes. you were saying when we were talking a little bit early, earlier, before the show started, that you know you have healthier options in the cookbook, but you do not want people to, you know, forego indulging in things that they enjoy. Right. During the holidays and in life in general, correct? Exactly. So it balances sort of, you know, the older recipes with more vegetables. Uh -huh. And then in it, I included, because I'm a dietitian, I just couldn't help myself, I included if it is gluten free or if it's dairy free and right. then how to make those alternatives. So when oh. you are entertaining and you're wondering like, oh gosh, I have a friend that's coming over that's gluten free and dairy free, right. what do I feed her? Yeah. It has the options in there. Okay, I love that because I have a lot of friends who are gluten free right now. Okay, right. so you're going to finish making this pimento yes. cheese and when we see you again, what will we be working on? Ooh, we'll be working on some dessert bites made with avocado pudding. Okay, that one sounds really <laughs> interesting. I, I'm really excited about that one. And in closing, where can we get your book? Online okay. and at my blog. Okay, so perfect. Yes. And there it is on your screen once again. All right, we have to take a quick commercial break, but uh, next, details on a holiday open house that you do not want to miss. You're watching Talk of Alabama on this Monday morning. Stay with us. <laughs> 